Hi coaches. Okay, let's go ahead and let's talk about Tuesday the 11th. For our strength portion for today, we are going to be doing the deadlift, okay? Um, it is going to be the same format that we've been using. The uh, difference this week is we're going up in reps, okay? We're going to do 15 reps um, at a 7 RPE. We're giving them that two to two and a half minute rest in between each of those sets, okay? So for this one, what I found to really help the last two weeks keep my class on track is I've actually done an every three minute on the minute um, for four sets, and that really helps them lift, get their weight on, track that two minute rest, and then have them hit that, that rep again, okay? Um, 15 reps is a really big set. Okay, so a couple things I want us to be aware of and be looking at as we are watching our athletes do the deadlift, okay? So the first thing is going to be, as we get tired and we're doing this deadlift, we're going to want to bounce the bar off of the floor to give us momentum into that next one. When we bounce the bar off of the floor, it's hard for us to maintain this good position because we have now sent force down here and we're now pushing into the floor when we should be trying to stay nice and tight as we're pulling away from the floor in that deadlift. So it's like, um, it's almost like trying to kip off of the floor. You're going to lose tension and then try to gain tension really, really fast. Well, when you've got a bunch of weight on a bar or you're already compromised because you're 12 reps in, it's going to be really hard for you to maintain and get that tension back really quickly, which is then, gonna give us a greater chance of injury. Um, and also by pulling good from the floor every single time is how we're going to get stronger in that deadlift. Okay, so making sure that we are showing control. And with these 15 reps, it's a seven RPE. So this should be a seven based on how they're feeling. There should be no percentages here, okay? Um, they should be kind of looking at what they hit last week. Um, and I would encourage them to stay around what they did last week because of where our RPE was last week, okay? Um, if you do start to see people that are losing the losing um, good positions in that deadlift and they're like, this is what I hit last week, make them go down, okay? Uh, 15 reps um, compared to 10 reps can be quite a difference when we're doing four sets of them, okay? So if we need to start adjusting weight because they're really stuck on that number they hit last week, you are the coach, please um, keep your members safe, okay? Um, all right, that is the deadlift. After that, we're going to go into kind of a fun, like I think it's a fun setup for the workout. What we're going to do is we're gonna be doing three um, different movements and they're going to kind of be on the minute movement. So minute one, um, so we're gonna do three movements. You're gonna have one minute to do each of them. Then we're going to move to two minutes to do each of them, then back to one minute to do each of them, and then you get a rest in between each of those, okay? So it's gonna be a really quick, really quick minute, really quick rest, really quick minute, really quick rest, okay? Um, so make sure that your, um, your athletes have weights that they are able to recover from within that time frame to recover. That way they're hitting the next set really uh, hard, okay? All right, so hang power clean. We're going to deadlift the bar, okay? We're either in the high hang or the low hang, and then we're gonna come through, okay? One thing I want us to be looking at for the hang power clean is I'm seeing a lot of catches with my elbows behind the bar. So I'm here and we're letting people clean like this, okay? We need to make sure that those elbows are getting in front of the bar when we catch it, then coming back, returning to that hip or to the low hang. But make sure that we're really getting those elbows forward and that we're in a good receiving position as they're catching those hang power cleans, okay? Then we're going to have lateral burpee over bar. Lateral burpee over bar means that we do not have to be facing the bar. We can be lateral to it, chest hits the floor, I also don't have to fully extend. I can stay as low as I want to as I bound over the bar, okay? And then we're going to go into toes to bar, okay? Or heels as high as you can, anything like that. So really quickly what I wanna go over for the toes to bar is I do hear a lot of times people are like, 
Um, I'm not able to do toes to bar because I don't have mobility. So I wanna show you guys a little quick um, assessment you can do for some people that will help them um, kind of see that they actually are um, mobile enough to get a toes to bar. So what you can do is you can have our athletes lean up against the wall. We're then gonna put our heel against the wall and then we're gonna put our foot in front of it, okay? So we're here, heel to toe, then we're gonna bring this guy up, heel, sorry, uh, two feet together, okay? We're then gonna go from here, is I want you to have them bend over, keeping their butt on the rig and touch their toes, okay? If that means they need to bend their knees, they can bend their knees, okay? Then we're gonna sit here for a little while and as we're sitting here, I want you to tell them to keep pushing their knees towards the rig and see if they can straighten their legs, okay? With them still touching their toes. If they can't, then just have them hold that position. Then have them roll up and then have them try it again. And as you do this three or four times of having them press their knees towards the back, they'll actually hopefully be able to get a little bit, um, get some length there and be able to touch. If they can't touch with their knees locked out, that's okay because a lot of times with toes to bar, we have a slight bend in our knees as we kick the bar. So if I'm able to be here with a slight bend in my knee, I'm actually able to do a toes to bar, okay? Um, it just might come down to my um, control in my hip flexor or in my lats being able to get them there. But as far as their mobility goes, they are able to get there, okay? If they bend their knee and they're still not able to touch, then we might have a mobility issue with them getting their toes to bar, um, and then we might have to do something like um, an X style um, toes to bar, where we go really, really wide um, with our feet. And I can show that in a different day, different video, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to see how everyone does on this one. I think it's a, like I said, I think it's a different fun layout of a workout that we haven't done before. So um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.